La vie, c'est une très longue histoire. Life is a very long story on this planet. 4.6 billion years. We have the first traces of the presence of carbon, uh, living carbon of uh, Organic origin at 3.85 billion years, and uh, chemistry started getting organized uh, with water. There is no life if there is no liquid water. And biodiversity starts when the very first cell divides into daughter cells identical to their mother. This is what cloning is about the conquest of the ocean. And at the same time, a process appears, photosynthesis, with water catching the sunlight and CO2, which is uh, a problem today, producing oxygen and sugars. And this is how life started. And then a number of uh, important events took place in this ancestral ocean around about two billion years ago. The appearance of the nucleus on large cells, much larger than the bacteria which were there before. And some of the bacteria were caught, were not digested and were integrated in the larger cells. And they were to become what was called mitochondria. Symbiosis happened and then multicellularity. We will talk about that later, around about at the same time, two billion years. And this is how tissues appeared, and then organs and complex organisms. And life saturates the ocean with oxygen, and the oxygen will exit the ocean. And this is what later will allow life to come out of the ocean. Life exited the ocean in several places, several times, in, under several forms, uh, around uh, 460 billion, million years ago for organized species, and it starts conquering the continents. Now, it was not an easy and quiet process. Things happened. There were major extinction crises, uh, there were approximately 60 crises, five major ones, the ones during which the trilobites disappeared at the end of the primary era, and then ammonites disappeared, and also dinosaurs at the end of the secondary era. So this is life was organized, appearance, disappearance, and this is vital for the system's dynamic. And for approximately 10,000 years, the human being appeared earlier, but 10,000 years ago, the only one left was Homo sapiens, called himself sapiens, started uh, growing plants, invented agriculture, breeding, and uh, this uh, accelerated the uh, species disappearance process, and some animal, vegetal, population, disappear, microorganisms, fungi. This is why we have to think about what we do today. Some people have said, aren't we preparing the conditions for extinction crisis number six due to uh, human activities and uh, domestic animals? 10,000 years ago, domestic mammals and humans represented 0.1% of all the mammals on the planet. Nowadays, they represent 90%. So you understand the importance of the human activity on the process. Everything. Uh, gathered speed, things changed, populations and species disappeared, and this led to uh, enormous difficulties for humankind. Now, the solution is not about trying to reinvent everything from scratch. The solution lies in uh, acquiring more respect for nature and fighting to try and stop biodiversity erosion, something that we have started and that we have created. This is how it becomes meaningful, because the nature we live in, we need the nature. A human being is made of more bacteria than human cells. And the human being will start living harmoniously with nature if it respects nature, if it if he loves nature and if it finds it beautiful. Vinci said, observe nature, this is where your future lies.